on the stream. <sighs> Incidentally, all I use is just a bit of toilet tissue just to clean the brush off. Close it up. Make sure you close your paint pots up because you definitely don't want them drying out on you again. So what's number four? Number four is purple. Let's have a look. Oh, this one actually doesn't look that bad. Uh, I mean, it could probably do with a little thinning, but I think we can go for it. So we're going to go with a bit of number four here. And we'll just see if it actually spreads. So I don't think it is. Yeah, that needs... Fortunately, this one only needs a little. I might actually do this. Check something. Twenty and four and ten. right. Okay, so that is. Oh no, that's ten down there. But that's all right. That's all the way to there. That's why I love my cheat sheet. Yeah, that paint, the, the purple paint is drying almost instantly, which is going to cause a problem. So I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to put a few drips of water in that. And about that. I think that'll do. I think that should be a bit more spreadable now. So we should get back and do it a little bit more color, I guess. How does that look on there? Oh, it doesn't look too bad, actually. Okay, move that over there. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that properly, but you can see that the, the paint itself is actually spreading a lot easier, which is definitely what you want. That's kind of the right consistency. I think my brush is a little bit wet now. So... Yes. That's perfect. Actually. Brilliant. Okay, it looks like I've picked a colour that there was only two spaces there down it with, but I'm gonna have a look for some more. I'm not even sure if I put myself into the right category. I think I put myself in just chatting. I don't know if there's an actual art place that you can go. Maybe there is. I just need to look into it. Ah, oh, this this is yeah. That's not going to work very well. Yeah. Yeah, that's not going to work at all. It's already gone over the white where I didn't need or want it to. But that particular little bit there is not going to be too bad. But I'm not going to do any more with that because that needs uh, a lot of work. Right. Okay. Let's get some of that in there. I won't be able to put any water with it because... And what colour is it? It's number one. All right, let's see if we can get this. Much better. Much better. I probably could go with it. Could go with it a little bit thinner. But I think that's going to work for now. I would actually make this, this one a bit thinner because it seems to be dragging somewhat but it is actually a very nice green see and then i went over there a bit with the uh with the other colour, and now with the more predominant colour, like I said, we can just go back and repair it. So that's kind of nice. And then here where we went over the lines, now it gets a little bit more tricky because you can't really go over the lines with the predominant colour. Well, you can. It just takes a lot longer to be able to put it right with the lighter colour because you'd have to give it so many coats. But it's not impossible.
But yeah, like that. It doesn't look too bad, actually. Like I said, I probably could go for it a little bit, a little bit lighter. Uh, uh, more watery, rather. But that kind of works. Nice. It's funny. I, there's a lot of people that wouldn't associate me with painting by numbers. It's one of the other reasons why I'm actually doing this, because... If you knew me, this wouldn't... Ah, see, now I've messed that up. And that's because the paint's a little thick. Um, if you actually knew me, you'd realise that this really wouldn't be something I would do. Hence another reason why I'm actually doing it and doing it on stream. Actually not looking bad actually and now i feel like i've got a consistency now in the paint which is perfect for painting with so let's have a quick go now and see so this is number one now you, i don't know if you can actually pick that up I, I i i will get a bit more feedback once i um once i end this stream and, and actually watch watch this back and i'm kind of hoping that you're not all looking at the top of my head right now. i don't think you know you're not um but I, i'll get an idea of what you can and can't see so i might have to you know zoom in a bit more or, or what have you it's taken me quite a while just to get to this point um with this cam spent most of the day yesterday doing it I want to put a splash of colour on here because, like I said, this is not something that's going to get done within a, a couple of hours or whatever else. This is an on, ongoing project and I'm going to stream it from start to finish, which basically means that I won't be doing any of this painting off stream. So I'm also going to upload this to YouTube as well, just to see if anybody's actually interested in it on there. And I'm not going to speed it up. Unless, of course, people say that, you know, maybe you should because it's it may, may be taking too long or, you know, whatever. I'm going to have a go at trying to find my other paintbrushes as well because this has an annoying little towel on the end of it and I don't have my scissors in here to be able to take it off but you could probably see now the difference with the paint now like how easy it's spreading because it's more viscous and that was literally just by putting a few drops of water in it and, uh, like I say you know you could just send a painting back, I guess, but odds are you're probably going to get another one that has pretty much the same problem with the paint. I mean, you've got to put yourself in the in the in the seller's position. You know, they they kind of mass produce these these pictures, and you know they they have to sit around with the paint. And what more can they do if they've vacuum packed it and you know put the paint in it? It's not really much else you can do with it. And sometimes you just gotta jerry rig everything. It's actually a very good YouTube channel, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. okay i'm back uh that took way longer than it should have hey welcome back people how are you doing i figured that i would do um a, a paint by numbers thing i was pretty nervous and then you turned around and said that you'd like to see it and i just thought well you know what sod it so i did it 
I need to go into my chatbot thing and I need to work out how I can turn on sound effects for when someone speaks because I will get so engrossed in doing this and then forget to look at chat and I don't want to do that. I'm also thinking my my window isn't open here. I'm pretty sure it's not because it's getting bloody hot in this room. Oh, it is open actually. Oh, I can put that back on there. Hang on. So, what did you have for lunch then, buddy? Should we go in a bit more? Can we zoom in a tad more so you can see it a bit better. Maybe tilt up a bit. I don't think I can zoom in anymore. Oh, I can, actually. There we go. Uh, I would say uh, set up text to speech, but with the trunks that frequently in your chat, that's probably not a good idea. Yes, 100%. Definitely not a good idea. Um, did I actually turn that camera back? I don't think I did, did I? No because I haven't added it yet to the list so I'll put that back on there I know it's not a, a, a what's it can but you can still get to see me on this I know from watching a few other people that do art streams people get fed up with just watching their hands so I'm not buying another camera oh talking of cameras actually I'm having to send back Howard cam it keeps on turning itself off and then OBS just won't find it again and I'm having nothing but issues with it and I just thought, you know what? I've got enough problems in my life without webcams adding to them. So I just decided that Amazon is going to take it back. Every time I try and save a few pennies and try and buy the cheaper option, it never seems to work out for me. I did just see chat go up. I've got it in chat on my phone. Um, I'm going to be bringing in my um, my tablet so that I can I can see chat a bit better. But I'm just doing a little bit of an integral bit here as soon as I finish this because I find that if I look away from where I'm painting, I forget where I was. The that becomes a bit of an issue especially once you've painted over the number a couple of little number ones there now i'm going to thin this paint down just by dipping it in the water and then rolling it and then that should that's probably going to need a coat or two because it's so small now had the paint been okay i wouldn't have done that i would have just put the paint in there but because this is quite a thick paint and there we go we'll give it a second coat and then uh, that looks fine so what's this uh damn those trolls i have no idea why they want to treat someone that way disgraceful really yeah isn't it? i just never understood why people could do that i mean who knew Little number one here. Yeah. Right, so I don't know if this is going to be for everyone. I'm guessing probably not. But it is for me. You know. that number one so like here now i can't see there's a one there but i don't know if there's a 10 or a one so you use your little cheat sheet which they give you which is quite nice and then that'll be that part you can't see that can you, you just bring that down a bit so that'll be eight two seven eighteen one. Oh, it is one okay that is that one 
It doesn't say one. one. And then six. No, there is one. Okay. And then that's two that goes up there. So this is what I'm, I'm I don't need you missing that. Now. Obviously, I did that. Yeah, see, my, my fan is actually drying up the paint on my brush, which is a bit of a pain. Okay. Uh, I'll start on the stem over here. This paint's still a little thick. But now, yeah, and I'm going to have to thin it down because I'm about to do really thin work and it's just going to blob like it just did. Yeah, I'm going to have to thin that down, unfortunately. Sorry, <laughs> but it's got to be done. Turn that off a bit. And then I think now we're just going to put in maybe three drops. I think three drops should just about cover that. Because we don't want to make it too thin. I'm so jealous of people who can actually draw and paint just from their heads. You know, they're just like, oh, I've got a blank piece of paper and then they can just make something amazing. It is genuinely the only time I'm jealous because I would love to have the ability of being able to do that. Do you, do you happen to know, uh, that is my daughter her talent amazes me and she has been that way since she was around five yeah my wife is so good but she just doesn't do it and it's, it's just really annoys me she's, she's got to be in the mood for it it's like i'd be in the mood all the time <laughs> to paint I don't know if I put my jig pitbull. Can you do me a favour if you don't mind? If you got a sec, is there an actual art um, Twitch? You know, a section for like art and stuff. Because I I just went into just chatting because I, I didn't know if there was. So I don't even know if I'm in the right place. I'm probably not actually. Right, let's. Oh, uh, that, that definitely looks like proper paint there. Okay, so let's test that out. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much perfect. Step for the bloody hair at the end of this brush. Oh, there is, is there? Okay. Um, I don't know, is it worth me changing it now? Because I'm not really just chatting. Well, I am chatting, but... Maybe if I was in the right section. Let me finish off doing this bottom of this stem here. Right, let me finish that. Let's have a look here. Because if there is a channel and I'm in the wrong place, then I don't want to do that. 
that's the thing with painting by numbers right it, it doesn't look like you've done a lot and then all of a sudden you look down at the page and it's like wow you've actually done more than you think and then especially if you get the bit in there that you've done you know that would be handy right okay so I'm, I'm reluctant to want to change the paint again because um i suppose we could go and do a bit of white again this white actually does look a bit thick um when you're going from uh, a color to a white i can't tell you enough it sounds really um obvious but clean your brush and then rub your brush on all sides just keep turning it round just to make sure that it's dry because yeah it's it's white you know right okay and then also try and leave because i know that the paint that i've done the green paint was uh quite thick i knew that it was going to be dry by the time i went back to do this but make sure that the other area is dry before you try and go over it otherwise you'll end up dragging it and it'll look it'll look horrible but yeah even though i have felt you know rough today and and not very well uh just playing a new game and then doing this i can't actually say that i feel better but i'm not fixated on feeling so bad and I know my topic of conversation has just been about um, depression and, and anxiety and stuff. And that's because at the moment, that is pretty much one of the most important things in my life right now. Because I'm, I'm suffering from it. And that's just what we do, I guess, constantly talk about it. And that, that will stop. I, I don't know, this is the, my first, my first paint by numbers stream and, uh, I just wanted people to know that it's okay to feel ill. It's okay to feel to feel bad. You know, it's the the expression that I always use is um, anxiety and depression is a is a is a battle, right? And battles are not won in the first round. Sorry, war. It's a war, rather, not a battle. And wars have many battles, and you're not going to win them all. And that's okay. If you didn't win it today, try again tomorrow. Just don't give up. Because tomorrow could be the day that you win. And it'll make such a change in your life and then don't also be worried if the next time the next day you don't win because like i said it's it it's a war i think i've probably got that around the wrong way but i think you know what i'm trying to say So it doesn't mean you're weak either. Because that was something I struggled with for quite some time. I'm the, I'm the dad that you used to come to, or kids always come to, to, to solve their problems. And thankfully, I was always able to do so. It's just that now I'm so focused on my own problems, I don't really... Really do it much now. Right. Okay. Let's do a little bit more up here. That a different color to get it. Oh, do you know what? I actually think some wind chimes, not wind chimes, chi what are they what calling things? Pan flutes. That's the one. Pan flute music would be good here. I used to actually listen to pan flute, pan flute music as well as frequency music whenever I would do this. Kind of helped a lot. You, oh God, I'd look down and it would be at the, that's three, four o'clock in the afternoon and then all of a sudden it would be 
And on those days you feel like you're losing, sometimes having a natter to a friend, yes, telling horrible, cringy dad jokes. It really does, mate. I, honestly, I, I, I've, I found it very difficult to actually articulate um, to say how much streaming has helped me. Like, it has, it has given me a voice again because I can actually sit and speak to people. And um, you'll all of you never know just exactly how much you've helped. And it blows me away. Like I, I got given that 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 Harry Potter game, and Christ, I'm I'm sitting here and just trying to hold it together because it's just not me. I don't. I've never been given anything in my bloody life that I haven't worked for or or you know slaved over to get myself. And and the the, the kindness that I've come across since I've been streaming has been completely overwhelming. And it's not just about giving me stuff either. You know, the, people's time as well is just blown me away and it's made me realize that the way that i feel i'm not alone because everybody's pretty much going through something but yeah coming in here and just having a laugh is is an absolute tonic and that's what gets on my nerves when when i have them days where i just can't do it you know like i was going to come on and do this this yesterday and i was sat in the computer room Pretty much all day long i just couldn't do it i wasn't even able to play a game yesterday which uh, was annoying but like i said you you can't win it every day uh you bring friendship and enjoyment by sharing yourself and your experiences with the world uh, so someone giving you a gift like that isn't completely unexpected from my perspective uh, it's such a nice thing to say It really is such a nice thing to say. I've also, you know, I've never really been one to get many, many compliments in my life. And I find it, I find it very difficult. Yeah, I suppose difficult is the right way of putting it. I, I find it very difficult to, to accept them. It's like, you know, people were saying to me yesterday, you know, and and Craig was one of the ones who who really struck home because that guy is he's really sarcastic and he's he's really cutting and he's actually a good friend, you know. We we don't talk much these days because he's busy doing his own thing. Yeah, Dizzy, you're pretty nice, you silly bugger. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. <laughs> <gasps> oh dear how you doing bud i uh yeah i just i don't know i just when he turned around and said like uh, you know I, i'm actually fed up now he's like why are you fed up he said because you're actually a handsome twat <laughs> I thought, it's quite nice <laughs> not used to compliments uh, doing all right. Haven't seen you about the place. I've been here. I just haven't been doing much. As you can see, like I've I've upgraded myself now. I now have a computer room. You don't know about that yet, but yeah, I, I have a computer room, um, of my own space, and uh, I decided to do some some different stuff on stream, like painting by numbers. Paulie joking coming. <laughs> Go on, Ed. How you been, Dizzy? You been good? Might take you a minute to get to your message because I'm just in the middle of doing white and that is notoriously bad for not being a... Well, Oh, thank you very much. Oh, I've just had some... What was you waiting for me? Oh, all right, okay. Uh, yes, I am. You know I am. Dinner's just arrived. So we might have to do... Because like I said, I've not eaten all day long. Uh, I've been good, yeah. So you've been up to much? Anything exciting? How have you been feeling lately? So I remember the last time we spoke, you weren't particularly doing great. But I hope things have changed for you in some way. 
you talk to Jimbo and everybody much, or have you just sort of been doing your own thing? Yeah, right. Okay. Let's do something other than green for a change. Now that paint is going on much better. Now that I have thinned it out somewhat, it'll also go on a bit quicker as well, which will be nice. Sorry, got pulled away. Oh, you're fine, buddy. You're fine. But I got bought the other day, Kimmy, um, Hogwarts Legacy. Which I thought was very nice for people to buy, well, for him to buy that for me. So I should be playing that on the 7th. I'm, I'm pretty much looking forward to it. I know there's been a bit of controversy around it, but as a huge Harry Potter fan, I'm looking for it. Did see another six. Why is that? There's that bloody light clicking on my headset. My legs and my back are about to give out on me soon. I can feel it happening. I will check chat in one second. Um, girl walks into the bar and asks the bartender for a double, double entendre. Um, so he gives it to her. <laughs> double entendre. Any more sixes down the bottom here? There's one little one there. This one done. But other than working, you've been good, have you, Kimmy? I was going to tell a joke about sodium. Then I thought, no. And, oh my God. And I, yes. <laughs> that's bad. Even by your standards, that's bad. Of course, when I say standards, you know. Fine. This is going to look pretty good when it's done. Someone just called me, coughed and sneezed, and then hung up. I really hate cold callers. <laughs> Such a wally. Um, what was the number two? I just... I literally opened up the number two because it said I had to do it, and now I can't see it. I'm pretty sure that that was part. There. If it wasn't, it is now. There was, wasn't it? I might just seeing things. That happens as well. All right. 